then the Mixer 65 supports three types to store attachments. You can store attachments in the database, you can store it in a blob storage, or you can use SharePoint. Now let's see how we can use SharePoint to store attachments. I'm here in my Dynamics 365 finance environment and from the modules, organization, administration, document management parameters, I go here to SharePoint and I have to provide the address of the SharePoint server. In this case, this would be our company SharePoint server. So you only have to provide uh, the main address and click on test. This says OK, SharePoint server is working. Now, we have to create a document library in order to store documents on SharePoint. I'm switching now to my SharePoint environment and from the contents I'm creating a new document library. I call it D365 Fact Sheets and I create this document library. You see this is just an empty document library, nothing special here. Now let's go back to Dynamics. Again from Organization Administration, Document Management, we go to Document Types and now we are going to create a new document type that is stored on SharePoint. So I click here New, let's call it Fact Sheet and from the location I'm choosing now to be stored on SharePoint. Next you have to provide the information where on SharePoint and I'm going to click here on Open. This will uh, show me a list of all my sites in SharePoint. And I have a SharePoint site, this is called Development. And within this site I have a document library called the Mix 65 Fact Sheet. This is a document library I have created earlier. Click OK and I'm saving this fact sheet. Now that I've created document type called fact sheet, I'm going to attach a fact sheet to a record in Dynamics. So next I'm going to product information management to the released products. Choose a product here and from attachment now I create a new fact sheet. You see fact sheet document type is here in the drop down. I have to upload the document and I'm using the surface fact sheet. So it has been uploaded. You see the preview here. And now I'm going to save this. I can close this. And when we go back to SharePoint and refresh the site, you see the document has been uploaded in SharePoint.